And please welcome the servant of God, uh, missionary Li Jong Kang. Hi everyone. Welcome to AFJC Daily Devotion today. I'm very privileged to share the Word of God with you today. Today, we gonna ponder about what our faith should be in the difficult, difficult times, times and challenging, challenging times. As we live our life, we face troubles and problems in our life time to time. And many people acknowledge that you know, uh, we face more and more troubles and problems as we get older. And we Christians are not exempted from facing troubles and uh, the challenges. So when we face the time of trials and difficult times, what should be our response to it, response to the time? Should we allow you know, what we feel to lead us into depression and falling away from our face? What should be our face in the difficult times? So we're going to learn, we're going to uh, ponder about it, we're going to think about it uh, through the book of Psalms, chapter 25 verse 16 to 18 okay so i will read the psalms 25 verse 16 to 18. turn to me and be gracious to me for i am lonely and afflicted relieve the troubles of my heart and free me from my anguish look on my affliction and my distress and take away all my sins Shall we pray first before we go into the Word of God? Okay, let's pray. Father, thank you so much for this time that you brought us together, Lord, to hear your voice. Father, I pray, God, Lord, as we're going to ponder about what our faith should be in the times of difficulties and challenges. I pray for your word to teach us, Lord, so that we will learn from the word of God how we need to respond to the times of challenges and trials, Lord. So, Father, we commit this time unto you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Okay, firstly, when we face the troubles and problems in our life, we should know and believe that we are not alone when we face the times of trials and challenges. It is very natural for us to feel that, you know, uh, there is no one who help us, you know, there is no one who come to rescue us. And when we see that, you know, no help comes to us, we naturally feel that God does not see our situation. Even we cry out to God, even we pray to God for our situation, but we may feel that God is so far away from us. He does not hear our prayer, our cries, and God is actually turned away from us we may feel that and i think that is what the king david also have felt as well that is why he said in verse 16 he said turn to me and be gracious to me for i am lonely and afflicted king david was all alone to bear the whole affliction that is in his situation and he so there is no help from anyone and he cried out to God. He didn't see any help comes even though he cried to God, he prayed to God. So he might have felt that, God, you turned away from me. You are so far away from me. That is why he said to God, God, please turn to me and be gracious to me. But one thing we should know is that what we feel and what we see is not always the fact it's not always the truth so we should know the fact and the truth in our situation 
Actually, when I read the verse 16, turn to me and be gracious to me for I am lonely and afflicted, it actually reminded me of one man who is the most important man in human history and who was put into a situation of absolute loneliness and very severe affliction. Do you know who that one is? He is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was crucified, not for his own sin, but for our sin. He took our sin upon him. So our sin together with him was punished at the cross. So we could be free from the sin and we could be free from the penalty, the, the result of our sin. First Peter 2.24, it says, He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross so that we might die to our sins and live to righteousness by his wound. You have been healed. So Jesus Christ, he, when he was crucified at the cross by taking all our sins, he was left alone. He was abandoned by God. He was forsaken by God. God left him and he was all alone with a severe affliction. That was, that was deserved for us. But he took our place. He took our place of total loneliness and the severe affliction. That is why now we are free from from that penalty. So what we are so sure about is that even though we feel, we feel that there is no one who help us to deliver us from our challenging situation, we may feel that, you know, God is so far away. God does not answer our prayer to deliver us from our challenging situation. But it is not the fact the fact is because Jesus already took the absolute loneliness, the severe affliction. So now God is always with us. God always lead us, guide us with your mercy, with his mercy and love and kindness. That is the fact. So when we face the time of trials, difficulties, challenges, do not be deceived by our feeling, but put our face in what Jesus has done. Put our face in the result of what Jesus has done. We are not alone because Jesus was alone at the cross. We are not abandoned by God because Jesus was abandoned at the cross. So we should, we should, uh, put our face in what Jesus has done. Okay. So we, through that, through that face, we know that we are not alone. So we are so assured that God is with us always, even in the times of difficulties and God is leading us, guiding us with his love and kindness. Amen. And secondly, when we face the times of trials and challenges, we should look back on our life and see if there is any sins, any wrongdoings that we have committed. When we face, you know, the troubles and problems in our life, the human nature tends to blame others for our difficult situation because of the one I am suffering because of that one I am suffering or sometimes we give excuses for our wrongdoings that caused the troubles and problems in our life but when uh, we face you know I, I, I don't say that 
you know, the, our troubles, you know, our troubles, uh, the difficulties are uh, caused, always caused by our sin or our wrongdoing. I don't say that. Sometimes God uh, tests us with uh, trials, you know, to strengthen our faith and to uh, make us to grow in maturity in our character. Okay, but we have to acknowledge that many times our troubles, our problems in our life are caused by our sins, our wrongdoings. I think that is uh, what David also have acknowledged too. That is why in verse 18, King David said, Look on my affliction and my distress and take away all my sins. David might have acknowledged that his sin caused the distress, the stressful situation that he is uh, going through. So that is why he cried out to God, God, please take away my sin and deliver me from this distressful situation. You know, uh, this is found in his uh, story of adultery with uh, Bathsheba. Because he committed adultery with Bathsheba, he had to bear the pain of losing his son who came from Bathsheba. You know, as a father, it is a real pain to lose his son because of his sin. But he had to bear the pain and learn from it so that he could grow in his character, in his maturity. Um, you know, one thing we can be so sure about is that, you know, when we see our wrongdoing, our sin, and when we confess, to God and ask God for his forgiveness. We are so sure, we can be so sure that we gonna be forgiven by God. Why? Because of what Jesus has done at the cross. Jesus already took our sin and our sin is punished at the cross. So now, whenever we commit sin, we have to confess our sins to God and we have to ask God for his forgiveness. Then we are so sure that God is going to forgive our sins. In Ephesians chapter 1, verse 7, it says, In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace because of the blood of Jesus that was shed at the cross. Our sins are forgiven. You know, even though, you know, uh, the troubles and problems are caused by our sins, our wrong things. But when we come before God and if we ask God for his forgiveness, then we can be so sure that our sins are forgiven because of what Jesus has done at the cross for us. With that faith, you know, we are not going to go into depression, but we will learn from our uh, the situation and we will grow, you know, we will grow in our character, we will grow in our maturity, so we will become more and more like Jesus Christ. Amen. So today, you know, we... Uh, talked about you know what our face should be in the times of challenges and difficulties first we should know and believe that we are not alone you know God is always with us God always lead us guide us with his love and tender mercy why because of what Jesus has done for us at the cross and also secondly we have to look back on our life and see if there is any sins and wrongdoings that we have committed. If we find any, we have to repent on our sins so that our sins can be forgiven and we can learn. We can, from that experience, we can 
grow to、uh, in our character maturity to be more like Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay, I hope that this word of God encourage all of us、uh, in the times of our you know difficulties to respond in godly way. Okay, so shall we close in prayer? Father, thank you so much for the word of God today. Lord, I pray, God, Lord, for you to remind us, Lord, that we are not left alone at all, because Jesus was left alone, abandoned by you, Lord, for us. So, God, when we face the difficult times, challenging times, God, you assure us that you are with us. You are leading us with your love and with your kindness, Lord. Also, Father. Help us, Lord, to really see in our life whether there is any sins, wrongdoings that we have committed. We need to repent. So, God, with the repentance, Lord God, we will be assured that our sins are forgiven because of what Jesus has done at the cross. And God, you help us to learn from this challenging. Time this painful time, so that we can grow to be more like Jesus Christ, Lord. So, Father, thank you for this word of God, Lord, and we pray this, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen.